everyone, it's John here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get random samples either with or without replacement using the rand array function. So this is going to be something that's important if you're doing any sort of statistical analysis. Let's take a look. First, we're going to take a look at creating a random sample without repeats. So here we've got a list of employees and we want to randomly select employees from this list and not repeat them in our selection. So for example, we only want to return Sarah Davis into our random sample either zero or one times. So how we're going to do this is first we're going to randomly sort our data set and then we're just going to take the top number of rows from our randomly sorted data. And then that will give us a random sample without any repeats. So in order to randomly sort our data, we're going to use the rand array function. So this is going to create a random array of values for us. And what we want it to return is the exact same number of rows as the data set that we have here. And so we're going to use the rows function to count those for us. And we're just going to count any of these columns and see how many rows it has. And when we press enter, we get a random array of numbers from zero to one. And this is what we're going to sort our data by. So now we can use the sort by function with this. So sort by is going to allow us to sort our data set based on another column. And so here we can sort our entire table, our jobs table, and the array we want to sort by is from our rand array function. And it doesn't matter what order we sort this in, the result is still going to be a randomized sorting. And when we press enter, you can see that we get a randomized sort order of our data set. And now that we've got this, we can take any number of rows from this from the top, and that will be a random sample without repeats. So for that, we can use the take function in order to get that done. So the take function is going to allow us to take a given number of rows from an array. And in this case, the number of rows that we're going to return is in this cell here. And when we press enter, you can see that we get three random rows from our original data set. And the rand array function is going to recalculate anytime we press F9. And so we can press F9 multiple times and recalculate or redraw a random sample without repeats. Next up, we're going to take a look at how we can create a random sample with repeats. So in this example, we've got the same data set of 30 rows of employees. And here we want to draw a random sample of 40 of these employees. And this means that we're going to need to have repeats in our results. So in order to do this, we're going to use the rand array function again. But this time, we're going to use it to create an array of index numbers. And we're going to use these index numbers to choose from our 30 rows of data. So this time, our random array is going to have 40 rows of data and a single column. And the minimum is going to be 1. So we want to be able to choose our first column. And then the maximum is going to be 30 in this case, because we have 30 columns, we want to be able to choose up to the last column, or the 30th column. And again, we're going to calculate that with the rows function on one of our columns here. And then the last optional argument for the rand array function is going to be that we either return decimal values or integer values. And here we want to return integer values because we want to use these as an index number to choose our rows. Now, when we press enter, you can see that we get an array of random values. And so in this case, we have 40 values here that range from one to 30. And we can use these to choose our rows. Now we can use the choose rows function to choose these rows based on an index number. And so here we're going to choose rows from our table, our jobs table. And the rows that we're going to choose are going to be from our random array here. 
And when we press enter, now we get 40 randomly chosen rows. And you can see that we do have some repeats here. So for example, here, Michael Brown appears again. And we've got 40 rows in total. And again, since this is based on the rand array function, which is volatile, we can press F9 to recalculate and get a new random array, which in turn is going to give us a new random sample with repeats. So there you go. That's how you can create a random sample either with or without repeats in Excel by using the rand array function to either randomly sort our data or to create a random array of index numbers by which to choose our rows. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.